I just watched Viola Davis on Hot Ones and I loved it so much. It's titled something like Viola Davis gives a master class while eating the Hot Ones. And there are so many good things in this episode. If you're an actor, I highly recommend. Is there like a science to picking out the right audition monologue? Like, is there a right or wrong yes, way to do it? I think so. See, I disagree with the term, there are no small roles, only small actors. Even though I understand exactly where it's coming from, there are some small roles. <laughs> the thing about law dramas is, Sean asked Viola, What's an acting exercise or warm up technique that you found to be actually helpful? And I can totally relate because I've been in a ton of acting classes where the exercises are ridiculous, but I personally do my best to take them seriously because I'm like, okay, if I think they're goofy, then they're not gonna work. I think they're goofy. She said there was an exercise that she actually liked, and it's a breathing exercise. I love doing vocal and breathing exercises before acting and performing because I really need. It or else I'm gonna be talking like this and nobody's gonna be able to hear me. You take a deep breath from your diaphragm and you sing a song like Happy Birthday, like, but you take it syllable by syllable. So say you take a breath and then you really release and you just let it all go. Take another breath. And by the end, you're either laughing, crying, both, you're hyperventilating. But the reason why it's helpful is because it accesses your emotions. I'm going to try this exercise and see if it works for me too. Having to do a sound and concentrating on like, okay, what's next again? It, it's just, it sounds meditative. So I do believe that it can get into your emotions. And I'm wondering if I have like a monologue or a scene, if I can do my lines and do it like this and get in touch with those emotions. So I'm going to do this breathing exercise right now. I highly believe in not sitting uh, when you're doing exercises like this. So I think laying down on the floor and not having to worry about your body is a good one too, but just sitting feels so normal and casual, something that I do all of the time. Um, so I'm gonna stand up and do the Viola Davis, well, the Viola Davis recommended acting exercise. Wait, who am I singing happy birthday to? I'll just say happy birthday to me. <laughs> that felt like meditation and yoga if you've ever done yoga at least for me my experience is that after i do yoga i feel so calm in my body and relaxed for some reason when i said me and the happy birthday to me i did start getting really sad and because i was getting sad and there's really no reason in this moment to be sad I made up, I believe, a reason that I was sad. It's like, wow, I'm singing happy birthday to myself. That's pretty sad. And not in like a, ugh, you don't have any friends, but just in, it was sad to sing happy birthday to me for some reason. I connected to my emotions there, but because this took so long, I, I do believe I have pretty good lungs. Like I could, I, how long did it take me to say those things? It took me around 10 minutes. I felt a lot of boredom because it's just one syllable was taking so long and I felt confusion because while I was saying like two I was trying to think wait how does this song go again I've never sang it this low so even trying to figure out what those words even were that I was supposed to say I also felt really self-conscious because not because the camera was on but because um my partner is working in the other room and I can hear him in a meeting and then my neighbor that and their bedroom is right above mine um I could hear them walking am I being too loud and I was like okay who cares like if you're being too loud somebody will tell you but I tried my best to just relax and be in the moment to see what happened with this exercise and I and for me what I think I got out of it is being able to relax and um 
expand my lungs. So I really recommend it if you get super nervous rehearsing or filming like your self tape or whatever. I'll keep doing this and then I'll update you guys in a few months to see if this has like long term positive effects other than being able to relax, which is really good and expanding my lungs. I have a ton of other videos about acting. My whole channel is about acting. Um, you should go see this one about five exercises that you can do at home. Really important to start now, start today and develop yourself as an actor. Even if you've been doing it for a long time too, you should still keep working on it because it is so true. If you don't use it, you lose it.